The world is a vampire. Sent to drain. Secret destroyers. Hold you up to the... Hi, it's Nick Shell, the internet receding hairline guy. If it weren't for uh, people who watch my videos and comment, what content would I have, right? Because how can I keep making so many videos, losing subscribers because I make too many videos, because let's be honest, that's happening. And yet, I, I, I'm so stubborn, I keep making too many videos. That's on me, right? That's just, it, that's stupidity on my part to continue making too many videos when it, even though it's keeping people from, from subscribing and actually losing subscribers is what I'm saying. I, I can't even hit 500 because I keep making too many videos and then people stop subscribing. So it's very foolish of me and I, I keep doing it. And as you've noted, I am stubborn. So there you go. One day I'll, I'll get smart, right? But thanks to uh, someone who commented, they brought to my attention. I did not know apparently that the half Italian uh, actor, Steve Carell, whose I think original last name was Carelli, uh, had a hair transplant because I'm a huge Office fan. I've seen every episode at least two and a half times, if not four and a half. And someone pointed out in the first two seasons his hair was different and that he had more hair after the couple, first couple seasons. I, okay, I just thought he fixed his hair different. I'm, I'm not good at knowing who has hair transplants. Uh, I guess I'm just fooled a lot by that. Now, then that made me think about how it was in season four of The Office in which uh, Steve Carell's character Michael uh, is dating Jan who has quote a boob job breast augmentation surgery and I was thinking huh there's a theory and I'm sure this has been probably thought of before but this makes a lot of sense could it be that the equivalent of a man having hair transplant surgery is a woman having her breast enlarged surgically so let's say that again is a man having hair, plant, hair transplant surgery the same as the equivalent of a woman who gets larger breast, breast augmentation surgery? Now, I'm gonna say yes, is what I'm gonna say. I think, I think they are. Now, not to put down men, man, those things are loud every time. Not that I'm complaining, I mean, that's their tree. They're doing what they gotta do, but seriously, every time. Okay, so, I'm not putting down, I'm not judging anyone who gets hair plant surgery or gets their breasts enlarged or whatever. It's just, I guess, I just, I think, like for me, you know me, I am, I am for embracing baldness. I'm for, for shaving your hair off once you finally don't have enough to hold on to or whatever. Or once it becomes to where you've, an issue, then you shave it, you know, whatever. But you know how I am about, I'm like against, personally against and it's not just transplants it's also i'm against any kind of thing a way to save your hair i think you become a slave to that and i don't i don't ever want to be that guy so and, and so it's like is that true i'm thinking about how like based on everything i know most women ultimately don't care about your hair if you're losing your hair shave your head be done with it she's not interested in a mate based on that and so i was thinking about that okay so what about the women out there who it really does matter too that they really do care that you have a full head of hair and if you don't she's not interested even if you had everything else going for you say you're well educated you have a great job you're caring and kind and a good person but yet she's like yeah you don't have enough hair so i'm not interested so, i mean obviously if that were the case you're better without her right and so i think the equivalent to that in my opinion is a guy who says, yeah, she's a great girl in every way, but her boobs are too small. You can't handle that. Like, to me, I think that's a, a, a good match. So therefore, we have this concept, the men's hair, something he cannot control naturally. It's, it's in the, his genes, whether he's gonna ultimately lose his hair or not, right? And, and similarly, a woman's breast size. She can't really control that either. That's pretty much in the genes too. So you've got these two things that you cannot control, male and female, hair, breast size. You can't control those. But you can step in unnaturally through surgery and change those things, right? So I think that's part of the reason for me why I just don't want to change this because I'm going to cross a line here. But if I was a woman, I wouldn't 
I wouldn't be the type to get breast surgery because again, I think fundamentally, if it's not something natural, I don't, I don't trust it. I just don't. I don't trust hair plant surgery. I don't, I don't trust breast implants. And if people want to do that, please let them rush to go get that done. Let them pay their money and, and that makes them happy and that's good for them, right? Because I don't care what they do because I'm a libertarian. As I have to, as I feel I always want to turn about, I don't care what you do. I'm not putting down getting breast surgery or hair surgery. I don't, I don't care. But I think there definitely is a similarity and the foundation of why they're similar. Again, you can't control naturally really your hair. You can do things to try to save it and embrace it and put on Rogaine and hopefully that'll hang on for a little bit. But really you can't control it. It's just, it's a, it's how the cards are stacked or, you know, whatever you draw on the cards, that's what you get. Same thing with breasts. So, and then similarly too, if someone's going to judge you based on that, or your breast size, it reflects more about that person than it does you yourself, right? That's the way I look at it. But going back to the whole point of this video is, I think a relevant, the a relevant theory to propose is that the equivalent of a woman getting her breasts enlarged through surgery th th is a man who gets his hair surgically, whatever, whatever, his tra transplant. Um, and my closing thought on this would be this. I don't pay attention to women's breasts. And I, not only because I'm a married man, but because I, I never have. I've never cared. And maybe that made me uh, strange as a male, but I never noticed and I never cared about that, ever. Seriously, I never cared. Uh, so, with that being said, with me not caring about that, I also... I don't pay attention to find out, to even know which women out there have had that surgery. I mean, I guess if I was really paying attention, I could think, yeah, you know what? She's like what, mid forties and yeah, the shape of those is uh, younger for the rest, for her age, that can't be, I'm not the guy who figures that out. Somebody has to tell me before I even know. Like even in the episode of The Office where Jan got the boob job, I didn't even know until they came out and said it and Michael said, Jan got a boob job. Like, I, I didn't know what was so funny until he explained it. That's how much I don't pay attention uh, to it. So, uh, and I guess so similarly, because I'm not paying attention to that, I'm also not really, if, if a man has hair surgery, he's fooling me on that too. You can fool me with boob jobs. You can fool me with your hair transplants. I'm not, I'm not going to know the difference. But I think ultimately we're seeing maybe similar psychology behind this, that, that a woman ultimately gets a boob job for the same reasons a man would would uh, get his hair uh, transplanted. Now, I understand, I'm a, about to pr press the stop button and stop recording, I think very easily the things I've said today, th there can be opposing comments made, please enter them. Because I'm not saying my theory is fact, I'm saying it's a theory. I'm saying there's a lot of similarity between the psychological fundamentals of a man getting hair transplant surgery and a woman getting breast surgery. I'm, that's what I'm proposing to you. Now, that's simply my theory. As you disagree, leave the comments. Let's, let's explore this topic together. Because I'm not saying I'm definitely right. I'm just saying I'm seeing a pattern and a connection here between those two. So let's really figure this out. I think this is actually a very interesting to topic today. So thank you uh, for kind of giving me this idea in the comments. So, let's talk about this. Let's uh, flesh out this theory. And uh, is a man getting a hair transplant ultimately the same as a woman who gets her breasts largened or whatever you call it, boob job, whatever, whatever however you're supposed to say it. I don't, that's how little I know about it. Nick Shell, the internet receding hairline guy.